Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the differential equation. Today we will discuss about how you can find the integrating factors. Myself, Dr. Gar. In the last lecture we have seen uh, any differential equation of this form m dx plus n dy is said to be the exact when this condition will satisfy. When when you prove that this is a exact differential equation, then you can find the solution by using this equation number one. But however, there are so many differential equation which uh, are of the m dx plus n dy form, but this condition does not satisfy. For example, here, if you consider this differential equation, then it is clearly sees that this differential equation is not exact. So when this differential equation is not exact, it means you are unable to find this solution by using this method. So our target is to firstly make this differential equation to be the exact. How you can make them differential equation to be the exact? For this we need the integrating factor. So the purpose of this integrating factor is to make the non-exact differential equation. If you have the any of the non-exact differential equation to be the exact differential equation, that's the purpose of the integrating factor. How you can make them non-exact to be the exact differential equation? We multiply with some function f of x, y so that this non-exact will be the exact. So if any of the differential is not exact, then we can make by multiplying a some function f of the x and y form. And such a function is called as integrating factor. So our target is to find such function f of x comma y. We have seen there are there are the two ways you can find the integrating factor. First one is the method of the inspection. Second one is by using the transformation or some formula. This is we discussed in our last class. This is the last lecture is there integrating factor where we have seen this is there. But uh, what will happen if we are working on this formula base? So what is that? In that case, whenever you are trying to prove this is not the exact, what you can do is either you can take the subtraction of this. Either you can take, either you can like write like this way, or you can write like this way. So there are the two possible ways. So once you are writing here, then you have to divide this term. If you write here as minus of n, so this is a part for the n. You have to write here. In this case, it's a minus of m. You have to write like here. You can see there are the two possible ways. You have to divide the term whatever you have written after this minus p. And here is a m, whatever the you have to term right after that. So it, here, once you will divide them, it will be function of x, y because it's n. So it must be the function of the x only. Here you have divided by m, so it must be the function of the y only. Once you are finding these two forms, then the integrating factor of the first kind is e raised to power, whatever you got the answer. And here is e raised to power of this. How you can know it more well, we can explain through these seven examples in this presentation so that you can hear, learn more. So what is that? Firstly, it's a first order differential equation. So first you have to compare this with the m dx plus n dy, you will get m and n. Check whether this is exact or not. You can easily verify that this is not exact. Once this is not exact, then what you can do is you can subtract either you can write like here, you can subtract them either like this or you can subtract by here. So you can see uh, in you can if I subtract here, what is the answer of this? 0 minus of 2y is a minus of 2y and here is plus of 2y. So in that case, if you use this, then you have to divide it by m. What is the m is here? Is it the form of since you divide it by m? So is it the form of f of y only? No. Why? Because it consists of x also. It means this is not true. So if you divide it by here, this is the divided by n. So what is the value of the n is here? So this is my 1. So that's a function of the y only. That's a constant. It means you have to start from partial derivative of here. So what is the answer of this is y? 1 is there. So since I divided by n, y because it's by n. So therefore, the integrating factor will be my e raised to power whatever the answer you got. Once you get the integrating factor, you have to multiply this differential equation with e raised to power x and it is a exact 100% is there. There is no need to check again of this partial derivative of this is here or not. This is my n, this is my m, it, it is exactly be a exact there. 
Now once this is the exact, then you can find the solution by using here. What is that? Terms in the n, this is now my n. Is there any term which is not containing x? No, so it's a zero. And in this case, this is my m, you can substitute here, keeping y as a constant. So y as a constant means, what is the integration of the e raised power x, x square? So you have to integrate e raised power x square. So that will be my here. And plus, this is the constant part. So y square is outside, so e raised to power x plus 2x e raised to power x of dx. So you can see this will be cancelled out. So the answer is x raised to x square plus y square of e x is there. Look at quickly on the second example are there. Again, you can firstly compare them and check whether it's exact or not. You can see that this is not exact. Again, you can start either from here or you can start from here. So that's depending upon the nature of their answer. So what is the answer of this? If you subtract them, it will be my 3y cube plus 6. If you subtract them from here, it will be here. Now in that case, you have to divide it by, since I written as here n, so it must be the function of the xr only. And in this case, you have to divide it by m. So you can see what is the n is. If you divide it this by n, it will not be the function of the x. It means I have to start from here. So if you divide it by m plus of 2y, so you can see if I take minus of 3 common from the upside, so it's plus plus of the y cube. And if you divide y from here, it's a 2 plus y cube. So it's a function of the y only. So what you can do is you can start from here. This one is this one. So now you can divide it by m. So what is the m is my here. You can take y as a common and it will be cancelled out is there. So therefore integrating factor is my this. What is the integration of this is nothing but my 3 log of y. It can be written as log of y raised to power minus 3 is nothing but here. Now you can multiply this y raised to power minus 3 of the given differential equation and it is a exact is there. Once it is exact you can find the solution by using here. What is that? In this case this is my n. Is there any term which is not containing x, this part, 2y cube, 2y4 divided by y4 and 4. So after the integration, you will get the required answer. Look at the next example again. This is my m, this is my n. You can see this is not the exact differential equation. Now you can subtract them. So you can see here is this one. So uh, if I write here as m, so you have to divide it by m. m is my here. So you can take y as a common. So x y square plus 1. So what is the answer is 1 upon y. And I also need this is a function of y. So what is the integrating factor of this is y. So you have to multiply this differential equation with the y. And the exact solution will be here. What is that? Terms is not y. Not in x. So this is only y4 into y is a y5 is there. Look at the next one is there. Again this is of the mdx plus ndy form. You have to firstly check whether it's exact or not, since it is not the exact form. So you can start either of these are there. So if I write like this way, you can see this is a function I divided by n. So it's a function of the x only. So what is the integrating factor of this? How you can solve them? This is nothing but my x plus log of x. So I can write as e raised to power x log of x. What is that term? Is nothing but my x is there. You can multiply this x e raised to power x of this differential equation which is always be the exact and hence the differential equation solution will be here you can see again there is no terms in the end which is not containing x so that's why zero here y is a constant so sine of y is keeping outside and you can integrate this as of like this one you can integrate by parts and you will get the right answer of this Look at the next example are there. Again, this is the m and n are there. You can find, since there are too many x and y's are there, dx and dy, so you can firstly pair them. And now check whether it's exact or not. Since again, it is not exact. So you can see if you subtract them, the answer will be x plus 1 e raised to power x. If I subtract this minus of here. So since I write n in the last side, so I have to write n. So, but n is my here. Can it be cancelled out? No. It means I have to start from the partial derivative of this 
and partial of here so that it will be divided by 1. So the answer is minus 1 which is a constant. So your integrating factor is my here. So remember that this is a dy because you have to return here in the 1. Multiply this e raised to power minus y which is exact solution and here you can see the terms which is independent of the x is only this part okay? and after the solution this is the right answer. Look at the one more example here again m and n are there so you can check whether it is exact or not it is not exact. Now you can subtract them once you will subtract them you will get here. Now which one you can take if you take here firstly it is a three terms so it will never be used here so that is why I use divided by m and you will get the minus 3 by y. What is the integrating factor is 1 upon y cube. Multiply this differential equation by 1 by y cube and after the solving which is a term which is independent of the x there is no term R there. So that is a right answer. Look at the last example. So again this is the m and n are there. You can firstly check this is the not differential not exact. So you can subtract you can use either as of this. So I can if I take this I have to divide it by n. So if I take as a 6xy it will be 1 by x and I need a function of the x here. So it means I have to start from the this one and the integrating factor is my again x multiply the given differential equation with the integrating factor and hence its solution will be my here. Now you can take keep y as a constant so it is a 5 x raised to power 4 so the integration of this will be here this is 12 x cube so integration will be here 6 y square is my constant so x square by 2 is my right answer. So this is the way you can uh, tackle for the non-exact differential equation to be the exact differential equation. We will see some more examples on the second order linear differential equation in our next class. Till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.